definitely, definitely. We were all over the place yesterday. I, I, I was so upset, you know, as the game finished, I was so, and I, I moved straight to my car and then um, get them and go to the bus and send them up. Well, a loss is a loss. However, we are going to bounce back from that for sure coming this Saturday. Um, what I can say is the scoreline for Saturday's match will be my answer for how the bounce back will be. Hello everyone sports fans, welcome back to another very special episode. I'm your host Joe Mai. I'm Rush. And this is This Side at Sports TV, the place you guys come to get the best, most interesting and riveting sports topics, discussions and debates on the internet. Yes people, but before we get into today's video, don't forget to like this one. Leave a comment under the video and subscribe to this side at Sports TV. Why you tell one of them, bro? Share the video to at least 10 people. Ensure that you guys get us at least six subscribers. Because if you guys do that, you know how many subscribers that would get us by the end of the day. Yes, people, it's Manning Cup team feature time again. It's been a while, it's been a while. But you guys have been asking for it. And we're here delivering. Where are we, bro? We're at St. Catherine High School. And we, we saw your guys' comments. And we told you that it would have had happened. And it has happened. Yeah. The customary. Yeah. We you know what we do what we do. I'll give you the honors of reading this time. I read one side, you read one side. Uh, look at the, uh, <laughs> uh, I think that's Precious at Opera. Omnia Vincont. People, again, I'm pretty sure we'll butcher it. But we're a lot of St. Catherine High School supporters. Yeah, we do. So please correct us. What does this motto mean? Yeah. Please tell us. I'm sure it's something good again. So tell, us, tell us the, the, the interpretation. Mm -hmm. I mean, tell us if we said it right, the pronunciation, yeah. yep. and then tell us the interpretation. We'd really, really appreciate that. But this is not literature class. Mm -mm. We're here for a Manning Cup feature. And what we're going to get up to, bro? What are you expecting to accomplish? Yeah, yeah but you know, as usual, we're going to talk to the coach. Yeah. I'd say borderline, they have a what? Celebrity coach. A lot of people know him. Yeah, he's um, very known in the, in the Manning Cup sphere, for sure. Yeah. Coach Anthony Patrick, mm -hmm. everybody knows that name. All right. We're also going to talk to some of the standout players, see what's going on in the camp. You know, they lost, they lost their first game, conceded their first goal yeah. slash goals. And we need to talk to them about that. What's going on? How come you just lose to not even the best team in the in the, the, the in your group a so team far? That is going to struggle to make it to the second round. Mm -hmm. And you are a team that has all but qualified for the second round. How do you manage to not only concede your first first goal and then goals, but lose to the St. Jacob team with all of this? We'll try to unpack. And very many more, bro. Yeah, um, we also want to see, you know, St. Catherine High School is a good program. We want yeah. to see them in action. For sure. We want to see the coaching strategies. We want to see the, you want to see the talent there. You know, so, yeah, we want to ask them some of the, some people say the negative stuff, but we want to see the positive For also. Sure. We want to see how organized they are and just see the overall program in action, bro. So, yeah, okay, so let's talk and let's get to it. Without further ado, mm -hmm. let's go. All right. Here again, coach of the St. Catherine High School's Manning Cup team. Please introduce yourself, coach. Antonio Patrick, coach of St. Catherine High School. All right. Coach, first of all, how long have you been involved with this and St. Catherine High School? Uh, well, I started out 2013 um, and then um, 2014, 2014, uh, I, I, I was, my, my contract terminated in um, 2014 and I, Went to the infield 2015 and back here 2016 and I'm, you know, since I'm back, I always making it to the second round. You're one of the, the more well-known coaches in the money, you know, and, you know, like you have Neville Bell is associated with St. George's because Anthony Patrick is generally associated with St. Catherine. Speak to us about the culture that you've developed at a school like this for well, football. It, well, um, it, it, it's still not there, but uh, we, we are getting there. Um, because what I did now, um, I, I tried to Im get them in, uh, into a, a club, and that the, the, my club racing at, at, at in, in Portmore, um, in the St. Catherine Parish. We played in all the 17 and the 20 and Major League. Now, so most of them, most of the players, they play on the 17 and the 20 in Port, in, in, and, and our team in racing, and a um, couple in the Major League. 
Uh, my name is Omar Bro and I'm the goalkeeper for St. Catherine High School. My name is Crucifix Hill Thompson and I'm also the goalkeeper for St. Catherine High School. Alright, so um, people who are watching our channel would have already been familiar with this goalkeeper, Crucifix, as he was the starting goalkeeper and captain for St. Catherine last year. Yeah. Um, still the captain of the team. Um, I was told by a coach, but not playing this year. You mind telling people why you aren't playing this year? Okay, so um, back in April, I was called up for the Jamaican at 20 squad. Um, doing the squad training, um, I got injured, my meniscus was torn. I did surgery um, on it in June, so I'm now recovering. Hopefully, um, my time gap is shortening for my recovery. So um, for the season, I'm looking forward to being back in the team and helping as best as I can. Uh, is there any possibility of playing again? In this year's Marine Cup? De definitely, oh, it's a possibility. Of, when are yeah. we looking at? Well, um, the strengthening from the physio is going um, good as planned. I'm way ahead of what was estimated from me, from the doctor, so I'll give you about in the middle part of November, close to the end. Hey, I'm Ronaldo Stewart, number 24, St. Catherine High School. Ronaldo Stewart. <laughs> yeah, talk to us about how does it feel to be I'm one of the youngest players and the standout in this team? Is there any pressure? No, it's any pressure. We just play as a team and do the right thing on the field and so we can get good wins and do stuff in the remaining cup. All right, what position do you play? Right wing. You're a winger? Yes. All right, um, give us a player comparison. What type of winger would you say you are and which player in world football do you say you play like? Sadio Mane. Sadio Mane. That's a very, very good comparison. So, so describe yourself first. Tell us some of your attributes. Are you skillful? Are you a pacey one? Tell us how you play. Both of them. I use skill on one on one and pay some time when it's necessary to like pass the ball in the box for the foul score goals. Alright, for the people watching, please tell them your age. I'm 15 years old. Speak to me about um, your goal for these boys. After, money, after the money cup and after they have aged out of the competition and school, um, what's your hope for them? What do you hope to achieve with these football players? Well, we, 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 it, it, it don't stop here. It don't stop here with them. Um, as, as you can see, with the last few players, the last couple of seasons, we have Markovic Brown away, we have Asani Brown, um, Rajneel Brown, Javan Cole, and um, our last year captain. Uh, uh, Palmer, I say he, he should be leaving in January. Also, so we, we, we still we still have them around us to try to, and try to get them away as much as possible. All right, coach. So um, I want to speak to you about Saint Catherine's defense. You know, this season going almost unblemished until you guys' most recent game. But even more than that, the last couple of seasons Saint Catherine has had a formidable defense. Speak to us about your philosophy as it relates to defense. As it relates to the defensive aspect of football? Well, it's a, a two way about football. Once you're not attacking, you must be defending. And we, we try to implement that at all times. You know, in, engrave that in them from very at a tender age from Pepsi come, come straight up. So that is important. Um, we, and we play different, different systems and we try to get them to understand all these different, different systems. As you can see now, um, we're playing on the three at the back. And, and, and we're not conceding much. Yes, we were just conceding two goals from season. But we, 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 we've been doing well and, um, you know, and so good so far. And we have continue doing that. Right? 15 years old, that's relatively young for Manning Cup. You'll also be a participating in the under 16 competition later on the season, correct? How does it feel to be so young but having such a big role in an under 19 competition? It feels good because in Manning Cup at a young age, you'll get a lot of experience. So next year, when you play again, you just have to put in more hard work and you have a better understanding. Alright, um, so tell us some personal goals and expectations that you've set for yourself. How many goals and assists do you want to get? I want to get at least about 10 goals and about 12 assists. How many goals have you scored so far? One. One, so you have a, so you have a good little way for go. <laughs> yeah, man, I think you can reach that. Yes. Alright, um, so. You see, um, we're in the number one shirt. You'd have had to take up a number one responsibility this season. First of all, tell us how old are you? How old are you? Uh, I'm actually 17 years old. Or 17 years old. Which grade are you? I'm in sixth form. Uh, lower six. Yeah, lower six. So, this would be a second to last year at the Manning Cup, right? You still have a next year. Um, I, after I actually have two more years. You have two more years yeah, in Manning I'm, Cup. I'm born right at the season to start, September. All right, so. How does it feel being thrusted into this role, considering that you probably did not expect to have such a big role this season? 
you know, it's a really great feeling that I have my team that put their trust in me and my coaches that also put their trust in me, so it's also a great feeling. And in addition to that, you've played thus far and to this point only conceding two goals and it actually came in one match, the only match you guys would have suffered a defeat in. Speak to us about how it has been playing with such a good defence and obviously playing a big role in the only team that went so long without conceding. Uh, can I say, I, I, I actually trust my defenders a lot, trust my team a lot. You know, I talk to them, communicate a lot with my defenders, you know, when the ball to be cleared, I clear, talk to them when things to be done. But it just that they have just time and day they can't see it over. And Crucifix, talk to me about this year's team. How do you feel about your team this year? Um, even though you're not a part of the, the, the playing team. Oh well, um, this season is a really good season. I'm very confident about the squad of players that I have. Uh, we kept back majority of our players. We only lost three. So knowing the experience is still there in the team with our quality midfield and as my partner would say, an awesome backline. And um, we have full belief in the squad and we see going the full way through. What's the relationship between the two goalkeepers though? You know, you would have been the captain last year, hoping to start this season. Um, you got an injury, he's now starting, he's doing well. You know, can't see the only two goals. How do you feel about that? About that and what, what, what's the relationship like? Well, Omarion is like a family to me now. Over the years that we've been starting training together, um, he's basically a grooming person where I help teach him all the stuff that I've been taught from my goalkeeper coach, which is Jovel Plunkett. And, I see where he can better himself. He has more rooms for improvement, and I'm confident that even if I do play this season, he's capable of bringing the title back or winning a new title for us. These ain't captain nice. All right, coach. Uh, you've been doing well, but you had a, a minor hiccup um, against Saint Jada. They were below you in the group. Saint Captain, you guys were applying some pressure to the, the leaders um, in JC. What happened in that match? What caused you guys to, you know, concede two goals after not conceding any mm -hmm. in what seven games? Well, yeah, the, the, um, the, the approach, the approach of the game yesterday wasn't there. Um, yeah, the, a crowd pleasing, a crowd pleasing approach yesterday. You know, try to please the crowd as much as possible and, and you know, go against us. So you're saying mentally they just didn't bring it on that day to play football and to play St. Catherine defence as it say? Yeah, definitely, definitely. We were all over the place yesterday. I, I, I was so upset, you know, as the game finished, I was so, I moved straight to my car and then um, get them and go to the bus and send them home. And how do you bounce back from that? Especially with you know youngsters, teenagers. How do you get them to you know calm them down, be humble again, and, and play the way you want them to play? Well, I've been mean, uh, hopefully we can get uh, see as they look on this training session here today. It's very very difficult. I've seen like, only one senior players this year today, and a lot of youngsters. But I'm definitely we, we have got to try and, and get them on the phone later. And for we always have a um, phone meeting, phone dialogue. Get in a meeting later and see where we, we will go from here um, as of tomorrow. All right. And considering that you are the captain and a leader of this team, speak to us about the team's preparation. Obviously, you wouldn't necessarily be as involved on the field, but I'm sure you have been involved in the, the preparation of the field. Speak to us about that, preparing for this year's Mining Cup. Well, for this year's Mining Cup, firstly, I have to give kudos to the management staff and all the backbone person that are not really up in the camera but are in the background giving support and motivation day in, day out after training, after matches. I have to give them thanks at first. Also, you know, a key thing on the field is about the off field pre preparation of motivating, ensuring that everything is done. Um, the physio staff, the management, them have really done everything well. We players, we meet regular and we know who go to school together. So we have a chill spot in school where we sit and talk. If we need each other, need help with school, we try to help out with that so there's no distractions for when it's time for playing on the field. And, um, I'm doing my bit um, off the field to ensure that he's okay, everyone is okay, and be that added person the coach needs to ensure that everything is okay for the team. Seikachi High School team is very good so far. We win all of our matches, one and lose one, so we think that we are going to find this one in Cup. Alright, so second round coming up. What can you expect? You know, um, you're an attacking player, right? However, what the Seikachi team is known for is their ability to not concede goals. Speak to us about how you guys defend as a team. Just coming to create and play as one. So do you say you, even though you're a forward, you help in defending? 
yes, I the defending I just put in hard work so that my team can just get as many goals as possible so we can win the match. Alright, after the first loss um, against the Jig, how did that affect the camp? What's the mood like and how do you guys hope to move forward from that? Well, a loss is a loss. However, we are going to bounce back from that for sure coming this Saturday. Um, what I can say is the scoreline for Saturday's match would be my answer for how the bounce back would be. All right, coach, and you, you, you spoke about the senior player, um, Crucifixer. You'd have been one of your standout players from last season's Money Cup. And, you know, some would be surprised to see that he's actually still a student, considering that none of us have seen him on the field. Speak to us about his presence in and around the team this season and how that has helped your guys. Well, um, I must tell you, he's a great motivator around the team. He always here with us, always talking to the players in camp with us, everything. So he, he's doing a great job with me. Coach, tell me about your team. How do you feel about your team this year and, and what are the chances? What do you hope to um, accomplish in the Manning Cup this year? Well, the aim is to try and, and get out of the zone and try and be in the top eight and, and then we'll try and make it from there. What's the goal for the season? Do you guys want to win it? Do you think you can, the team can win it or you just enjoy the competition? Oh, we think that we think can win because we've been training for a long time and put in the hard work. Seeing that you're on the field, you're between the sticks, you've been the one on the ground thus far. Tell us, what are your expectations for St. Catherine? Better yet, will St. Catherine win the Manning Cup this season? No, there's a lot of talent here. I will put in the work, and the work should be done. I know we have a lot of bright future ahead of us. So we feel that we can win a new title, like my partner said. So St. Catherine will be winning the Manning Cup this season? I see we agree with that one. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> All right, thank you. It, it, it's not going to be easy, it's going to be difficult. I know the team have a lot of quality, but once we decide to play, then it, 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 it can be easy once we decide to play. All right, cool. And there you have it, people. Another one done and dusted. Yeah, bro, St. Catherine High School, High School's Manning Cup team. Uh, we spoke to, we'd say, one of the more, yeah, one of the more known coaches in Jamaica, um, in, in schoolboy football, definitely. Yeah. Anthony Patrick. Um, bro, what stood out for you in this feature today? Um, well, you know, the, the Obviously, they, the, their defense is very prominent and that's a big characteristic. That's something that they pride themselves on. And their two goalkeepers, which is a huge part of their defense, of course. And, you know, of course, you know, Chris Fixer is still in school. We didn't even know that. Mm -hmm. Apparently, he suffered an injury, but he's mentoring the backup goalkeeper who has been the starting goalkeeper this yeah. year. And he's obviously done a good job managing not to concede to this point, but only two goals. Yeah. So I think the, the dynamic between Crucifix and the captain and his second goalkeeper is what stood out to me today. Um, I like how well the boys spoke to us. Um, they explained themselves well. The coach, one thing I, I, I took from the coach's interview though, I, I was surprised at the fact that after, you know, doing so well defensively in, in, in the Manning Cup, what really cost them wasn't really um, talent or ability or they didn't meet the best team in the zone or the best team in the competition Mentality. but rather they hurt themselves um, so I didn't I didn't necessarily like that that's something surprising that that, that that's not necessarily Consider good a team a team that defends so well exactly you yeah. know a team you, you respect them to have more mental discipline yeah. considering that you're such a good defensive team yeah, yeah. you let down yourself you, you can't you can't afford to do that definitely not so late in the competition either yeah. you know after doing so well I didn't expect that from them but I think St. Catherine can bounce back. As, as Crucifix said, the result on Saturday will be their reply to losing to, to, to St. Jago yesterday, bro. So, yeah, I saw that and, and I, must, I must mention it in the, in the feature, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, um, you know obviously, um, considering that we're here the day after they played St. Jago, you know, many of their starting players would have been arrested today. So it wasn't, you know, as big a session as we at the Shadat Sports team would have had hoped to come and see. But we still saw some talent. We still saw standout talent. You know, we still saw the mentorship and the leadership from Crucifix, their captain, and their long-time number one goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. so it's an all-around good program. We look very organized. The coaches here handling their business both off and on the field. And they just love to see it. Yeah. All right, people. So tell us if you enjoyed this feature. And if you enjoyed, please just like the video, man. Leave a comment under the video. And subscribe to this side at Sports TV. What else? Share the video to at least 10 people, but ensure that each and every one of you guys watching right now can get us six subscribers. Because if that happens, do you know how many subscribers that would get us by the end of the day? Yes, people. This was the side at Sports TV. Another schoolboy feature. Oh, and we're all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>